Hello everyone, this is Loopy Liss and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon where we are waiting for our console to be built and trying to earn more money. Now, last episode we made an MMO. I'm going to click that a pause because otherwise we're just going to be sitting around doing nothing. And it is still going. Um, it's still going. It's still happening. It could have been better. And we do have a report right here for the um, MMO. So dungeon and RPG adventure is a good combination. Not great. Uh, sound is not very important. And dungeon slash mature is great. So there's that. Now straight away I think we're going to go ahead and make another game. And should we develop a sequel? Because I do love my sequels. Uh, Spy Guys. New topics are popular right now, but how long will they be popular? That is the question. That is the question. Um, hmm. Maybe we should go way back, like way back to the early days. Maybe even our first game. Look how many games we made. Hero Madness for the PC. Or the Busy Bus Driver. Or the Conquest of Legends. I am feeling Hero Madness, our very first game. So let's do it. Let's do it. We'll keep it as just an action. And we're going to pick the platform as... Actually, we'll do the, the play system 4. And the Xbox, Mbox One rather, the Mbox One, should we do that? I think we should. And PC. That seems like it could earn us more money. It's a large game and it's for everyone. And it's going to be called Hero Madness 2 the return. I think that is suitable. So let's get going with that straight away. Uh, the market has normalized. Yes, of course. Of course it has. Of course. Oh wait, was that an action? That wasn't an action, right? No, that was an RPG adventure. I was going to say that would have been not so good. Um... So gameplay about there then. I think this should be like all the way. And we need to take off some of these, sadly. Maybe keep simple cutscenes rather than advanced. The engine can have a lot of stuff. Uh, mod support, save to cloud. Let's see what we can get rid of. Uh, maybe video playback and save to cloud. Yes. Achievements, can we add that? No, we can't. I am going to say we can we bump that no no it's not gonna be very good if we do that so we'll take the achievements off and we'll keep it like that engine we're gonna have Clinton is it no I don't want Clinton on there I think I want Cindy and the gameplay I am happy for Amy to take that and then Clinton can take the stories and quests and we'll see we will see. I think this should be okay. I think this game should be a good game. Ooh, okay. A company by the name of Rise VR has developed a virtual reality headset which promises to finally start the path towards true 3D immersion. The new headset called Visorus, Visorius, rather, Looks like a pair of giant ski goggles and provides a large field of vision as well as near perfect motion tracking. Ooh. A first test left some players feeling a little motion sick, but with the right game, this technology can surely deliver on a new level of immersion. New research available Visorius support. Now, I don't remember that being in the game the last time I played this either. I don't remember that. Oops. I do not remember that. Definitely do not remember that. So the MMO is still going. 
this is the good thing about MMOs. They do continue week by week and you do... It fluctuates up and down. So that's pretty cool. Uh, artificial intelligence is way up there. That is good for me. Dialogue should be down and level design should be about there. I want to say just about there. I like that. And we'll have James take the AI. Uh, I am good to be on level design and Drew can take the dialogues, I think. Yes. And we need to get rid of something here. Yeah, take that away. Easter eggs? Yes. Lovely. Oh no, it seems that the darkest night journey to Asuka had quite a few undiscovered bugs when we released it. Some of our customers are having a bad time with this and they demand that we patch the game. I'm going to make us do that now. That's a lot of money to patch. Oh, that's quite quick. Why does everyone need to go on vacation? Why is it always everyone at once? Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. People have slowed down a little bit. Come on. Come on. Loopy Land has recently released a much needed patch for the darkest night, Journey to Asuka. One fan said, I love companies like Loopy Land. They don't just milk the customers for more money, but also understand our concerns and make sure that we can enjoy our games. Yes. That is what we're about. That's why we always patch games, right? We've always done it. We haven't missed any of them. Or all of them. <laughs> oh. Um. Okay, so... World design's gonna be about the sound is gonna be here and graphics gonna be way up there. So graphic, I wanna get Drew on board with that because I think that is ideal. And I'm happy to stay on world design. I think actually, yeah, Clinton can go on the sound. And I'll actually have Yes. No, yeah, no, I'm I'm happy about that. I'm happy with that. Who's that up a little bit? Yes. Wheel design, we need to take a few things off. Yes. Yes. I am fine with that. And once this is done, we can send everyone on vacation. Is this still making me money? Yes, just about. Hi, this is Jorg Longer. You want to do an interview? Sure. My expectation? I'm going to hype it. Thank you for your time. Yes, I'm hyping it because I've got a good feeling. And usually a good feeling isn't great, but you know. You never know. So what is this? The maintenance is the red, so the maintenance keeps going up. Hmm. Uh, no. Don't want the game convention. We don't need that anymore. We are good. Alright, get rid of the bugs and I'm going to send all of you on vacation because wow. I'm worried about the vacation thing ruining this game, to be honest. The woo will be taken off the market in two months. That's fine. As soon as the bugs are out, we can go. Okay. No new record, but we got a good management and new combo. And we're going to release the game and send everyone on holiday. 3D graphics version 4, lovely. Send a vacation, send a vacation, send a vacation, send a vacation. Nope, wrong one. Send a vacation and no, I missed out on Amy. I missed Amy. Oh, oh! Nine! Nine? Eight, okay, okay. And seven. I am okay with that. Honestly. Generate a game report. Please me. Please miss me. That is good. What rank are we at? Rank 17. 500k in sales. Lovely. That is really, really good. I am happy with that. Uh, 1 million in sales. Lovely. The excitement around the game seems to have no end, of course. Uh, let's... Because I'm confident, a bit confident. Let's, um, 
Can we up the budget here? To about there? Maybe? Yeah, let's- actually no, I think we can do more than that. Let's have it like there. Wu is no longer supported. We released one game for the Platinum One and a total of 15.2 million. In an exclusive interview a while ago, list from Loopy Land made very bold remarks about the then in development game Hero Matters 2 The Return, predicting that it will be uber successful. Now that the game is out on the market, the consensus is that this was spot on as the game has received very positive reviews. Overall, this has had a positive effect on sales. How quick do I talk sometimes? Oh, what's happening here? That's losing money. I can take it off the market. Yes, take it off the market. That's good. Land, we've just got word that Loopy Land is retiring its MMO game. The darkest night journey to Asuka from the market. The game has been on the market for 13.8 months and racked over 2.3 in million in sales. We're not quite sure why Loopy Land has decided to take the darkest night journey to Asuka off the market as the game likely still generated income for the company. Yeah, but it looked like the maintenance was getting higher. Uh. Okay, so I should have released a new MMO beforehand. It generated 33 point million, point six million in sales though. Post-release analysis of Hero Matters 2. Yes, everything is good. Engine is very important. Action, PlayStation, Play System 4, Play System 4, and Play System 4, everyone is great too. Try to focus our entire team. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's, um, hmm. Let's make a new MMO. Let's do that to please the people. And this is going to be post-apocalyptic. It's going to be action. We just released an action game. Uh, does RPG work? It's a great combo, yes. Uh, we'll just keep it as RPG. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Uh, PC. Play System 4. And the Mbox 1. Future. Uh, we're going to have as an everyone. I know the strong audience right now is young, but whatever. We're not going to make a game in time for that. Anyway, this is going to be called... Hmm. Middle Aged Scrolls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Middle-aged scrolls. Best game ever. Best game series ever. <laughs> oh, I like that. I'm a fan. Are you a fan? You should be a fan. <laughs> okay, uh, stories and quests are going to be high. And then I want to say engine is going to be like here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about that. I enjoyed that. Um, online play, yeah. Don't need save game. Uh, don't need- well, we kind of should have basic physics. We'll have this lifted up a bit. I feel like engine is quite important. Um, I don't know. Uh, online play is essential, so... Uh, gonna have to have it there. Yeah, no, we're gonna have to do that. Okay, uh, gameplay, yes, Amy's on there. Stories and- actually, no, Amy's on that. And then you and yes okay is that all right i think that was five million in sales for hero matters two lovely okay still giving me money we're still making money lovely lovely boost oopsie do whoops whoopsie woo hop a do Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. All right, I'm happy with how this is going though. Middle Age Scrolls is going to be the best game ever. It's gonna be the best MMO, you know. I I feel I feel like it. I feel good about it. 
Um, it's not giving me any tips. Oh, uh, dialogues. Yes, AI up. Yes. Ooh, I am going to mess this up. I am going to severely mess this up. Mm. 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 Yes, I don't know. Oh, we're gonna... Mm. No, no, no. We'll keep that like that. I think... Oh, I don't know. It's not giving me any guideline tips down here. I, I kind of like them. They're helpful. Actually, no, I will stick myself in level design. Uh, dialogues can be... Clinton. Yes. Ooh, I don't know. Ah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm still hyped for this game, though. Here, I managed to... The return is now for the market. 78 million in sales? 5.6 units sold? Wow. Wowie. Okay. Um. Yes. Yes. Let's market this game, actually. Let's let's do that large campaign. I need people to know about this. As I'm, I'm pretty confident that this is gonna be good. Ooh, wow, that was a big bubble of, like, technology then. Wow. Um... Put that there. World design is gonna be up, right? That makes a lot of sense for this type of game. So... Oh gosh, I need someone that's gonna be able to go on world design. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! This not good. Not good. <laughs> not good at all. Um. What if I do that? Will design should be up there though. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to uh, have that like that. Ooh, I don't want that. Uh uh. Mm mm. Oh no. Um. Okay. That's gonna have to be like that. It got. It's gonna have to. It's gonna have to. So, actually, wait. That's better. That is better. Wait, Lucy. What if? What if? What if I did this? And what if I drop this? Aha! Ah. Uh -huh. uh, I need graphic to be higher though. Mm. Oh wait. <gasps> We've done it. We have done it. That is fine. That is good. That is brilliant. Actually, Cindy, you're good there. Okay, yeah, no, that, that works. That works. That works very well. Okay, there we go. We problem we have problem fixed. The problem has been fixed. The fixed is problem. The problem has been fixed. We have fixed problem. <laughs> oh. Alright. That's a lot of design. That's a lot of design. There's a lot of design. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, that is a lot of design. No. Maybe I should keep going to that convention. I don't know. I don't know. How are we all feeling? I think we're all feeling good. That's a lot of bugs though. To get rid of. That is the highest we've had in design though. Wow. Alright, keep adding stuff. Go on, you might as well. Ooh! 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 Boss, I think it's time to announce the loop to the world. 
Should we go ahead and make a press release? Yes. I will get right to it. Lovely. Okay, let's get rid of that bug. Ooh. In a surprise announcement, Loopyland, a company known for games such as the Red Carpet, has revealed that they have been working on their very own game console. The console, which is called Loop, is said to compete with the high-end consoles from companies like Mirko Noft and Vani. We are eager to see how much of an impact this new console will have. Yes. New record on design. Love it. Oh, we are doing good. Come on, please let this be good. New research available, AA Games. Let's see the research, actually, because we should be able to research a bunch of new stuff, and then we can get a new engine again. Oh, multi-platform optimized. I forgot about that. Oops. Okay, that's fine. Um, Self-learning AI. Ooh, definitely. Ooh, expansion pack. That's what we need. That's exactly what we need. Yes. And then generate game report you. And the first reviews are in for the middle age scrolls. Oh. Oh. Nine. Nine. Come on, what are you going? Nine. Okay. And ten. Oh. Now this is a good game. Middle Age Scrolls, eat your heart out. That is the game you guys want to buy. That is the game that is going to make us our money. Ooh. Mirkonoft has announced their plans to release a completely revamped version of the Mbox early next year called Mbox Next. The new console seems to be cleverly integrate Mirkonoft's own motion sensor add-on for the Mbox One into one small package. Visually, the Mbox Next is reminiscent of the earlier Mbox 360, with a much lighter tone marking a departure from the bulky and dark style of the Mbox One. The technology of the Mbox Next seems promising, but we will see how the new console will fare against its competitors. Oh. Rank 1. Yes. Okay, we need to send you all on vacation. Wow. Send you all on vacation? Yes. Oops, I don't want to fire you. You're still working on something. That is why that's popped up. Come on, finish it. Yes. Post-release analysis. Sound, not very important. Platform genre match. Play system 4 and RPG is great. Yes! Let's lift up the money. Let's release this. Let's release the console. Let's see if we can make it. Uh, I want to research some more stuff. Uh, the vir virtual economy. Yes. That would be good. And one more. Um, branching story. Sure. Cool. That is going so well. That is, that is doing very well. We are about to hit a hundred million. Look at that. Let's see if we can release this console. Oh. Loopy Land has released their game console, Loop, today. The console does not seem quite on par with the high-tech competitors, but we will see what players think. Looking at the features of Loop, it seems that the list is extensive, which is a good sign, and could lead to a wide variety of games becoming available. First tests indicate that Loop is of average build quality. Don't expect it to last forever, but in general you should not see many issues. All in all, we think that the console will do reasonably well in the market and is a welcome addition. There we go. We have released our first console, and on that wonderful note... Oh! Okay, interrupted. Many have expected that Vonny will announce a new platform before Mirkonos Mbox Next will hit the market, and today, Vonny did just that. Keeping with company tradition and in contrast to competitor Mirkonos naming practices, the newly announced console is aptly named Play System 5. We are getting very close to the end, lady and Ooh. We are getting very close to the end, ladies and gentlemen. 
That is how you say that. The Play System 5 seems an incremental update. Coming out later next year with a form factor that reminds of the early Play System 3. The new system promises to be a solid update, but we will see how well the new console competes with the popular Loop console. Alright, as I was saying, I think I'm going to leave this episode here, but look at what we have done. We have done so well, and I feel like this is... we're getting very, very close to the end now. The Play System 5 has been released. We are in the future now. And we're on year 31, nearly year 32. We have been going a while and we have made money. We have made money. Middle Age Scrolls is doing well for us and will continue to make us money, which is amazing. And we've now got our own console out. This is brilliant. Loopy Land is amazing. And dare I say the best? Anyway, I think we're going to just have to see what happens in the next episode. I'm not sure if it's going to be the last one. But we'll have to see. We will have to see. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you could like, comment, subscribe, share this video, I'd really appreciate that too. And I will see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye bye.